Shalom, shalom. This is your brother YC Obey, and we are Sham Stoppers. Uh, we like to reserve our United States constitutional rights, freedom of speech, and everything that rides with it. And uh, we the only channel to get guys off of child support. I don't pay child support, and I don't child support. All right. We got a client right here. Closed the uh, child support is off his account. It's closed. Bam. What's up? Let me tell y'all a story what just happened. And they're going to be coming for y'all to go to jail. Let me tell you what happened. At the beginning of the year, we told you that the baby mamas weren't going to get that much money, right? Income tax, right? So what they're doing now, these women running back down to the agency, they're putting pressure on them and they're going to be coming after you. So you're going to be hearing a lot of guys going to jail. Right? Because a lot of guys are not what? Proactive, they reactive. Okay? Let me tell you a story what just happened. Somebody just called me, uh, somebody's baby mama just called me from jail. I mean, called me about her dude in jail and he had talked to me last year. And his baby mama set him up. His new girlfriend with him called for him, but his baby mama just set him up, told him, that uh, his his 16 year old daughter is out there trying to have sex, right? And let me tell y'all something, fellas. When a 16 year old, if you got a 16 year old daughter, when her pussy gets hot, you can't do nothing about it. Nature gonna beat you. Nature rules everything. So what happened was, his baby mama called the police on him because he know she she knows what type of car he drives. His new girl car. Right? And she know he probably ain't got no license because he was dodging her for this child support thing, right? So she called the police and told the police it's a dude out there smoking weed, driving reckless or whatever. So the police sit and wait for him. They pulled him over, ran his stuff. He gave him some information like a dummy, ran his stuff, ran his name and stuff. Child support came up. Bam, he in jail right now. His baby mama set him up. And you, it's a lot of bitch ass niggas talking about it's the agency. No dumb fucks. It's the bitch that's getting your stupid ass locked up. And I'm not talking to the sham type of clique. I'm talking to the new guys or whoever listens to this video trolling or whatever who say, uh, uh, want to blame somebody for going to jail. No, it's your fault, nigga. I'm going to do the podcast tomorrow. I don't give a fuck, niggas, and call in with your feelings or whatever. I dare you. Because I'm going to hit you with these truths and these facts, and it's going to hurt. You know what I mean? Because I'm going to tell you something. When I was going through my shit, I ain't blame nobody. I blame myself. Okay? So that's how I got out the shit, because I started looking at me first, not somebody else that's trying to help. That's like me blaming Kish for me, for me getting uh, resistant arrest. Right? I ain't blame nobody. When I did my little 30-day bid for resisting arrest, for telling them people I ain't finna get them no money, nigga, I did it like a man, a soldier, and that's how Sham Stoppers was born, and that's how Sham Stoppers is able to do this. You know what I mean? Come on now. Fella, stop playing the blame game on people. Somebody, people trying to help you. Even some of these retarded niggas on YouTube trying to help you. Shit, you know they kind of slow and shit, but goddamn, at least they trying. Only person that put you in jail was your baby mama. That's who put you in jail. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give, we give it to you raw over here. We real. I ain't got time to play. You need to jump on this stuff ASAP. We stay with testimonies. We stay doing stuff. Okay? It ain't on his credit report.
Your baby mama ain't got no federal right for some child support money. She can get it, she got a federal right to get off her ass and go work. And I know she keeping the children from you. You know what I mean? She got people. Why is you gonna pay when you can't see your children? Huh? The way you get off a child support, another step is admitting stuff. Admitting your faults. And you niggas don't want to admit your faults. You want to blame it on somebody acting like a baby, uh, acting like a baby mama. Stop acting like a baby mama. Man the hell up. Stop whining and crying and complaining. Grown ass man complaining. All the fellas that's on this YouTube thing for child support, you complaining about somebody price of money, you ain't going to never get off. Ever. Unless you get off your ass and stop complaining, go read a book or go f mess with somebody with your caliber or, or whatever. But complaining and whining and playing the blame game? Nigga, please. You know why you blame it? Is that she was yours. You stuck your thing into her. Oh, we going off tomorrow at 6, okay? We going to read some case law, all that. And, and I'm going to tell you something. You ain't going to win your case looking at somebody else's case law because that's their case, dumbass, okay? That's number one. Because for one, you ain't no fucking lawyer, Okay? So, but yeah, look at this. Look at this right here. You know what I mean? So be ready for the fun and games, fellas, this year. Oh, it's finna get hectic and crazy. Summertime coming up. These children finna get out of school. So you be ready to get these warnings, these warrants and all this from these people. Because they not getting paid. Y'all been sitting on y'all ass for three years. We've been on here. Saying I'm going to be honest with you. Can I be honest with y'all? Should nobody be on child support? Because we done made over a thousand some videos. I don't know how many thousand this one is. Thousand and something. You know what I mean? This is child support, fellas. This ain't murder. You know what I mean? You're not on trial for murder. You're not. Wake the hell up. Stop blaming people. Stop whining. Stop complaining. Talking about such and such got me locked up. No, nigga. You waited this whole time and talking about you didn't know. I don't want to hear that. I didn't know. No, you did know. You just ain't want to do shit about it. You was just scary. Am, am, I, am I stepping on some toes? Huh? Huh? Tune in to podcast tomorrow at 6. 6 Central so y'all can learn something. Stop blaming people for y'all mistake. Man up. You're a grown man. Act like. Hit us up. Peace.